Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my first video. Sally Ruth has been a bit late. I had intended it being um, 1st of January but I had a few technical problems. Didn't have the right over at camera and wasn't actually going to put this online. But I decided I liked the painting that much that I would. So sorry if the angle is not brilliant and there's a couple of places where I'm stretching out the paint where it's possibly gone out of uh, view. Apologies for that. Um, all details of the canvas and the paints used will be in the description, which is in the uh, drop down section underneath the video. Here I'm just actually, I've put in the uh, push pins and I'm now wetting the back of the canvas. This just helps to stretch it. The paints I've um, already got measured out, two teaspoons, tiny little teaspoons in each beaker. Um, and I'm layering, uh, as you can see, the uh, copper, then I think that one's the uh, Windsor, the Ultramarine, and there's a Payne's Grey coming up next, I think. Yep, yeah, that's the one. Uh, with, a, with some blue added to that one. And then we've uh, got the purple and then metallic uh, deco art pink. I think followed by a brown. And then I think we've got um, an iridescent uh, pebble colour there, which I think is the blue green. Gorgeous colour. And then uh, just finishing off with some more of the copper. I didn't really have a plan as such for this. Um, just got some colours together that I thought would look good. Um, but I've had a tendency whilst doing pores to possibly use too much paint then you end up stretching everything off but just to get rid of the paint and I, I tried to make a conscious effort with this one to um, only pour into a small cup thereby um, making sure that uh, I wasn't going to have to pour off uh, a good beaker full. I'm just spreading some white paint now over the base, um, not, not to try and cover it completely but just to give it a wet surface so there's something for the other paint to slide on making sure the sides are all covered as well because this helps immensely when the uh, main colours go on to make sure that they slide down and don't uh, struggle. Yeah, I'm just pouring um, just a, a puddle of uh, white there in the centre. pouring this again it wasn't planned um, but I just thought I'll go around in some circles getting bigger all the time and then uh, I tend to like to just crisscross adds a little bit more interest I think and then just let that dribble off before stretching Um, all of these paints were um, mixed to uh, Canela Sirocco's uh, menu, <laughs> menu recipe, sorry, uh, which is uh, two parts, uh, so let's say 20 grams of paint, that would be 40 grams of Floatrol. Difference being I use um, Oatrol, which I think looking at uh, pictures I've seen and video I've seen it's thicker than the American and I quite often have to um, add water now I'm injecting some white in there and that's slightly thinner I have watered that down I uh, just wanted to inject some white to see what effect I could get with this and uh, this is where you lose me uh, a little bit because I as I say, I, I now do have an overhead camera, so the next video should be much better. But I, I knew as soon as I actually started tipping this and stretching the paint that it was coming into um, a design that I actually really liked very quickly. Um, possibly the quickest any painting has ever done that. The composition was really pleasing to the eye. I love uh, some negative space, which I'd got there and uh, there wasn't a lot of excess paint. I'm just 
just uh, filling in some little gaps on the corners where I could see the uh, canvas showing through. And wondering really at this point, should I move it again? Should I leave it? Didn't want to spoil it. Um, to be honest, I felt a little bit um, as though there should be something I needed to do because it happened so quickly. Doesn't always happen like that, I can assure you. And uh, I've just gone for one of my uh, stirring sticks and uh, to give my hands a wipe because my favourite trick here is to go and drip paint from my gloves onto a painting that I really like and then have to scrape the whole thing. But um, I've, got, I've gone for the stirring stick. Uh, oh, I haven't. I correct that. I've gone for the blowtorch um, because I was uh, just popping a few bubbles here. I hadn't um, used the torch at all up until this point, so I could see quite a few and uh, just thought I would... Uh, give it a, a good torch just to see if any cells came up at all. I don't try to get cells such as with silicon, never use silicon. I did for the first pour that I ever did and just did not like it. Um, the Oatrol tends not to produce cells and uh, I actually get, if I want cells I tend to do a Dutch pour with uh, Rinske Downer's um, recipe of just using water and I tend to get more cells that way. But at the minute, I'm just uh, going over with the torch, making sure I get all the air bubbles out. It does seem a long time when you're actually watching this back. I may speed this little bit up, I think. wiping underneath the canvas here just to make sure that um, the drips are wiped away because the if, if you don't do this the um, paint will carry on and the drips will drag down colour from above so if you can do it on a sort of go back to your painting 15 20 minutes half an hour after and just do it again um, otherwise it has happened where I've come back and I've left a composition, I've thought, oh wow, it's wonderful. Come back and I thought, where's it gone? And it's completely been distorted with the pulling down of the paint. Now, this, this is difficult. You can't see what I'm doing here um, because of the lack of the over at camera. But I'm actually just putting the um, end of the stirring stick into the darker color and dragging it into the white. You will see where I've done this when I uh, go into a close up at the end of the uh, video and um, certain parts I'm taking white into dark and others dark into white. It's something I like to do actually on a lot of my pores um, but this one I particularly felt as I wanted to just integrate the white into the rest of the painting a little more than it, it was and uh, this did the trick. Uh, apologies that you can't actually see it close up. As I turn the canvas around here guys, you can see in this top left hand corner where I was actually going in with the stirring stick at the end, uh, the pointy section, to just pull in some details by dragging in the paint colour to the white section. And um, I do this quite a lot with my paintings, I think it adds some interesting detail. And again, there's a close up here for you of the painting, hope you love it as much as I do. And uh, I'm hoping to shortly put some resin on there and I will um, show you again the finished version, the dried and resined. So thanks again for joining me guys. Uh, it was my first video so please be kind and hope to get better in the future. Don't forget subscribe, please hit the bell and uh, select all for all notifications and hope to be back with you soon. Bye.